Our lakes and waterways help to make Canberra one of the most livable cities in Australia. The lakes and rivers around Canberra are popular places for relaxation and recreation, and they help to add to the scenic beauty of our landscape. However, our waterways are being placed under increasing pressure due to urban development, past land and water management practices, poor community awareness around water polluting behaviours, and the threat of climate change. As a consequence, the quality and amount of water flowing out of the ACT into surrounding catchments is decreasing. One issue of particular concern is stormwater pollution. Stormwater pollution affects water quality and consequently poses significant risks to public health and aquatic life. It also threatens the social, economic and environmental benefits that our waterways provide us with. Stormwater, which is a component of the water cycle, is rainwater after it runs off hard surfaces within our urban areas and enters the drainage system. With greater urban development, more of the landscape is covered by hard, impermeable surfaces such as roads, driveways, roofs and paving. This increases the amount of runoff during rainfall events and consequently the amount of stormwater. Increasing the amount of stormwater causes lots of problems for our environment and the quality of our water. Studies in the ACT have revealed that the main pollutants carried by stormwater are nutrients, including nitrogen and phosphorus, chemical pollution, such as heavy metals, litter, natural pollutants like leaves and garden clippings, bacterial pollution, which comes from leaking, broken or overflowing sewers, micropollutants, such as toxins, and suspended sediments. Today I'm with the local researcher Tegan, who's here to help us out with this issue of stormwater pollution and let us know what's being done in the ACT to improve it. But before we get started, I'd just like her to quickly introduce herself. Hi everyone, I'm Tegan. So I've been working with the ANU uh, on a research project that looks at water resource management within the ACT. Uh, so my project primarily focuses on water quality within Lake Burley Griffin. And what I've been doing recently is taking samples from the lake, uh, both biodiversity and water, uh, just to look at general trends and patterns and changes that's happening within the environment. Well, thank you for chatting to us today. Can you let us know what is being done to address water quality issues in the ACT? Well, firstly, the ACT government has set up the ACT Basin Priority Project, which recognises the importance of reducing the effect of stormwater. Uh, it focuses on improving water quality and protecting our waterways for future generations. Oh, and how, do you, how does this project work? What's being done within this project and how is it set out? Uh, good question. The project will focus on six priority catchments. Uh, these are the Yarralumla Creek, uh, Fishwick, Lake Tuggeranong, Upper Malongolo, Lower Malongolo and the West Balkonen. Uh, so it aims to improve the long-term water quality of the waterways and lakes in the ACT and health of the Murrumbidgee River system. So this project will do this through a number of ways. It will firstly carry out uh, comprehensive event-based monitoring. It will work with technical ex experts, stakeholders and the community to address these issues. It will establish best practice examples of water quality management so they can be replicated across the ACT and in other Murray-Darling Basin communities. Uh, it will invest in infrastructure and technical solutions that will reduce the impact of stormwater, sediment and other pollutants. Uh, it will also raise awareness about the issues and encouraging residents, businesses and visitors uh, to help look after our waterways by changing behaviour that directly affects the water quality. So where's the best place to see the work of this project throughout Canberra Tegan? So the best place to see the project in action is actually at Sullivan's Creek. The area has been turned into a wetland that is kind of designed to reduce the water runoff. And this has been done through water sensitive urban design. So the wetlands help to slow the water travelling through the creek and what were previously ugly concrete drains have now been turned into a living system with plants and wildlife. So these wetlands actually increase the biodiversity. Uh, it also improves the water quality and increases the appeal of our city. Awesome, definitely sounds like a project that as a class we should check out in the future. I've just got one last question for you and that is how can we as a community really get involved with water quality in the ACT? So the best ways to get involved are actually to check out programs like Frog Watch and Water Watch, who are always looking for volunteers. You could also head to the ACT Environment and Planning website, as they are always looking for helpers and people's opinions on what should be done. Uh, they also have some great resources which give more detail into the problems and how you can use water sustainably.